<laughs> you just fish, Anthony. It's okay. Good morning, friends. How are you guys today? It is Monday, March 25th. I don't see Eileen here yet. I don't see Sally. Karen. I don't see anybody here yet. Alrighty then. I guess I will just wait a few minutes. Good morning, Sally. I was afraid I was going to be the only one here today. <laughs> I did let Susie know I was going to be going live in about two minutes. So she may or may not show up. I don't know. I'm not sure where Eileen is. She said she was going to be here. Um... What did you do over the weekend, Sally? Anything exciting? Good morning, Spring. How are you? Thank you for stopping in. Went to dinner on Friday night with hubby. Ooh, nice. I'm glad you guys had a special night. As you guys know, it is National Crochet Month. I did forget on my Friday Live to go over the others. So I will just go over the rest of the month really quick. Um, the 23rd was Crochet Workspace. Where is your Crochet Workspace at? Mine is either in my room or my craft room, sometimes in the living room, the dining room for dining, diamond paintings. Uh, the 24th was Granny Square. I don't do Granny Squares, so I just, to me, they're pretty. I just, they're, I get bored with making them, so that's why I don't really care for them. Oh, okay, Spring, thank you. The 25th is why I crochet. So why do you crochet? I crochet to relax. It helps with anxiety. I like to just make beautiful blankets. Good morning, Shirley. Thank you for stopping in. The 26th is favorite... Oh, good luck at your doctor's appointment, sweetie. The 26th is favorite background noise. What do you listen to when you crochet? Do you have the TV on, music, a podcast? I usually just have my TV on. Sometimes I'll listen to music. The 27th is yarn storage. Where do you store your yarn? I store mine in totes and in uh, big vacuum seal bags. The 28th is something that you're proud of, that you crocheted. Mine would have to be my ripple blanket. That was the first one I ever made, and I'm very proud of that one. The 29th is newest make. Mine is my corner to corner. No, sweetie, I'm not an hour early. 10 o'clock on Mondays and Fridays. And then thir Tuesdays was 11, but it is now Thursday night at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Mondays and Fridays is 10 a.m. Pacific time. But it's okay. Um, as I said, the 29th is newest make. Flutter Stitch and Corner to Corner are my two newest makes. Plus, I finished the diamond painting that I got from... Nancy, too old to care. The 30th is Frog and Oopsie Daisy. Well, we all know that I am the queen of frogging and there's too many for me to list. <laughs> and the 31st is anything. So, uh, 
I'll have to double check it. So sorry if I mistimed it, but so that was the end of the crochet month for National Crochet Month that Ola Jo had put up. All right, Eileen, thank you for letting me know. I will double check that and change those. Unless you guys would rather do it at 11. 11 would be perfect. So maybe I'll just leave those ones set for 11 instead of changing them. If that's what it says, I'll just leave them for 11. Um, yeah, that's true. And I kind of thought that was funny when I didn't see anybody waiting. So it's okay. I'll leave the other ones for 11 for Friday and, and next Monday. The stitches for this week, guys, we're going to start with the staggered half double. That one is a little complicated if you're not used to doing it. I did work it up a little bit last night just to make sure I had it. Because, like I said, it is a little bit complicated. Um, that one and the bud stitch were the ones that were picked for this week. So, that's what we are going to do are those. If everyone is ready, we can go ahead and start those. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen on my Facebook or maybe I have not posted it yet. I am going to be without a phone for about a week. My new phone I just got seven months ago, a Google Pixel Pro 7. About a week ago, the screen started acting up and I would get like a green line that would go through the phone and then half of it would stay green, half of it was normal. And over the last week, I keep losing the screen. I can't get it to come on. It only comes on when it feels like it. I can hear it ring. I can hear it getting messages. But it doesn't matter what I do. I cannot get the screen up. Good morning, Michael. Thank you for coming in. So I went to Spectrum yesterday to trade it in, as they said I could do, if something happened to it within the first year because I bought the insurance, plus it's under warranty. And for them to tell me, no, you can't trade it in here, you need to call Spectrum and file a claim. So I called Spectrum Why I was at the Spectrum store, and the lady sa uh, said that, no, you should be able to just trade it in. I said, well, the guy in the store says no. Well, they bickered back and forth, and he's like, well, I've been here five years, and we've never traded him in. She's like, well, I've worked 16 years for Spectrum, and it says that she can trade it in. Anyway, I didn't get a new phone traded in yesterday. I had to contact Google, and it's being sent to the Google store, and they are going to give me a new one or try to fix this one. So I will be without a phone for about a week. So thank goodness I still have my old one, and I have my tablet. So I'll still be able to keep in touch. <laughs> Just can't call or text anybody. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. I was like, why am I paying the insurance on it and it's still under warranty if I can't trade it in for a new one? Makes no sense to me. So. Oh, Susie, don't worry about it, sweetie. I'm just glad you made it in. I, we've been missing each other a lot lately. <laughs> um, the half double staggered ship, stitch. Ugh, can't talk. I got up early this morning, too, and cleaned my room. I dusted, vacuumed, changed all the bedding, doing laundry. It's been a busy morning already. <laughs> all right. Staggered half double. It is done in an odd number. So any odd multiple. I am just going to chain up 21. I seen that, Susie. I'm excited.
try to do it loosely too sorry I forgot to tell you that and I'm using a 5.5 millimeter This is the um, half a double staggered stitch. Once you have your odd number, I have 21 in the third chain from the hook, we're going to work one half double. So in that third chain, work one half double. Then we're going to work two half doubles together. So yarn over, go into your next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and you should have five loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through all five, and chain one. And remember, try to do this loosely. Then you're going to yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next loop, or chain and pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all five, and chain one. And we're going to do this all the way down the row. So yarn over, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over into the next one, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through all five, and chain one to lock it. Is everybody with me so far on this? And I've already got uh, stitches wrote down and picked out for next week. I will post those up on the community tab after we're done here today. Once you get towards the end. Well, good morning, VJ. Thank you for stopping in. Happy Monday. All right, for your last two stitches here now, you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into that last chain stitch, pull up a loop, you'll have five loops, go through all five, chain one, and then do a half double as well into that last stitch. And this is what your first row should be looking like for the half double staggered. Did you have fun at bingo this morning, VJ? Then we will chain two loosely and turn our work. And then we're going to half double crochet into the very first chain spot where you did your chain one. You'll go in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, 
jump over to the next chain spot, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all five and chain one to lock it in. Oh wow, 43 people won, that's wonderful. You're gonna yarn over, go back into the same stitch you just finished in, pull up a loop, then you're gonna yarn over and jump over to the next chain one spot and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through all five, chain one to lock it in. Then you'll yarn over, go into the chain spot you just finished in, pull up a loop, yarn over, jump over to the next chain one spot, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all five, and chain one. And you'll continue this to the end, to the last two stitches. So into that same spot you just finished, pull up a loop, yarn over, go into the next chain spot, pull up a loop, five loops, yarn over, go through all five, chain one to lock it in. Once you get going and you can remember to work into that spot the last the stitch you just finished and you go back into it and then jump over to the next chain spot if you can remember that you'll have the stitch down pat it is pretty simple once you get going and it is pretty Okay, when you get to your last two stitches, you're going to yarn over, go into the last spot you worked, chain one, or yarn over, go into that last stitch there, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through all five, chain one to lock it, and then work a half double crochet into that chain two where you turned and work one half double. And that is the half double staggered. And then you just repeat this now until you get it the size that you want it. So you'll just chain two, turn your work, and start with a half Thank you, Sarah Happy Hives. Thank you for stopping in. VJ, it is. It's a really pretty stitch. And once you get going on it, it's really simple to do. I, I rather enjoyed learning this one. This was new for me as well. I've never done this stitch. And just remember to chain that one to lock it in. So... That's the half double staggered stitch. So if everybody's got that one, we'll move on to the bud stitch and then we can chit chat for a while. The bud stitch is very easy. It is also a very, very pretty stitch. Super simple to do. This one is also multiple of an odd number. I did 18 for this one. I'm using a 6.5 millimeter. You can use whatever size you want. In the second chain from your hook, you'll work a single crochet. 
and then single crochet in each stitch to the end. Both of these are one row repeats. Simple, like you guys like them. I don't know if you guys have all seen that little short I put up of my little chihuahua where he's sitting up with his little front paws crossed. I put up a short about uh, pets and he, something about uh, him being cute and he says, yes, my mama told me. I am surprised that that's gotten over 800 and some views. I was surprised it is. It's a really cute video. Okay, when you get to the end, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And into that very first stitch, we're going to work a single crochet and a double crochet. Then we'll skip one, work a single and a double skip one work a single and a double and you'll repeat this to the end or till the last three stitches and then I'll show you how to end it so skip one work a single hi Nancy I have something to show you here once I'm done skip one single and a double skip one single and a double skip one single and a double and then when you get to your last three st stitches we're going to go ahead and work our skip one work a single and a double you too Sarah thank you for stopping and I appreciate it you have a great day as well And then we'll work a single, or yeah, our single and double, and then we're going to work a double crochet two together. So yarn over, pull up a loop, go through two, yarn over, and into that last stitch. Good morning, Shadow Scout. How are you today? And then go through two, yarn over, and go through all three. So you'll end that. Good morning, Kevin. So you'll end that with a double crochet two together on that row. Then you'll chain one and turn your work. And into the very first stitch, you'll work a single and a double thank you Kevin I appreciate it then you're gonna skip one and work a single and a double skip one single and a double and then you'll repeat this till you get towards to your last three stitches so skip one and do a single and a double. I'm glad you're doing good. 
Hello, Anthony. How is fishing? Oh, good. I'm glad. Have you caught anything yet? And then just remember when you get to the end, you'll work that one single and a double, and then you'll work the two double crochet together to end this row. And that is the bud stitch, which is also another pretty stitch, very easy, one row repeat, just like you guys like. So that is that for the stitches this week, guys. The staggered half double and the bud stitch. Any questions on them? Wow, Anthony, wonderful. How big was it? Nightbot, knock it off. I did try to fix Nightbot as well, guys. I don't know if it worked or not. You can try typing in the word love, um, cozy, cuddle. I don't, don't think you need the exclamation point. I think I dropped that part out. <clears throat> Um, Don Aaron is going to do a video chat with me and help me set him up. Yes, he does need a hug. <laughs> yeah, see, he's, I still can't get him to work. So if not, it says Nightbot loves you, hugs, sweetie, when you type the word love. <laughs> yeah, he's not working correctly, so maybe I'll just put him in a timeout until Don and I can get together. The Mississippi Paddlefish, I've heard of them, but I've never seen one, so... I, I don't know how to explain it to you, Shadow Scout. Uh, Anthony might, though. Anthony, if you're still here, can you explain to us what your Mississippi paddlefish looks like? And how big it was? I know Anthony does a lot of fishing. It, if you guys haven't seen his channel, you need to check him out. He's got a lot of fun fishing videos and lives on there. I did put up a new list of people as well on the Go Support. <laughs> oh, I got to show you something, Nancy. Hold on one second, guys. I finished something that you sent me, Nancy, and it came out beautiful. Sorry about the crinkles a minute here. That's the diamond painting I got from Nancy, and I finished it last night. I love the colors and the way that tree is in it. Hello, Deb. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this one. It was something different from what I usually do. So it was a lot of fun. So thank you again, Nancy, for sending that to me.
I have another one I'm going to start that's just sitting right here. I haven't gotten it all together yet, the beads out or anything. I just put it on the light table. But this one's like a little cabin, and it's got a little butterfly with a little rose bush, but it's all in the in a dark blue background with like a moon shadow around it. So this one's going to be pretty to do too. I'm excited about starting that one. And that one's a 30 by 40. Not real big, but it's bigger than what I normally work. Thank you. Yeah, I love that one. I got that one off of Timu, and it was, I think, $2.98 for it, so pretty cheap. You're almost done with the one you're working on too, Eileen? Good deal. I don't, I know some of you guys probably missed it because I put the wrong time. So you guys came in a little late because I was early. Um, I went through the last of uh, Ola Joe's National Crochet Month, the days. Um, the 23rd was Crochet Workspace. Where is your crochet workspace at? Um, I, like I said, mine is my room, my craft room, the dining room, the living room, wherever I feel like working. <laughs> uh, the 24th was Granny Square. I don't really do them because they're, they're beautiful, but they're repetitive, and I, I get bored. I have ordered from Hobie, I think, twice, Nancy. And I like their yarns. It just, they're shipping, and, and then it, it's not that it takes forever to get here. It doesn't, but it takes longer than if you order from, like, Hirschner's or Premier. But Hobie does got some beautiful yarns. And I have, like I said, I have ordered from them twice. Uh, the 25th is... Why I crochet? So why do you guys crochet? I I do it to relax. It helps with anxiety. I love to see what it comes out looking like after I get a project finished. The 26th was favorite background noise. What do you listen to when you crochet? The TV, radio, uh, podcasts. I think they do, Nancy, make those in a three weight. When you click on one that you like, you can read the description of the yarn. Absolutely, Michael. I agree. It's your therapy, Sally. Yep. I think that's what a lot of people say is it's, it's therapeutic. The 27th was yarn storage. Where do you store your yarn? I keep mine in totes and in vacuum seal bags. You like to listen to YouTube videos and sometimes just silence? Yeah. In totes? Yep. Eileen, it relaxes you? Yeah, it is. The 28th was something you're proud of. What was something that you crocheted that you're absolutely proud of. <laughs> I bet everything you make, Nancy, comes out beautiful. I've seen you post a couple of pictures in the group and you do beautiful work. Something I'm proud of is my ripple blanket. I've never done a ripple blanket before. That was my first one, so I'm proud of that one. Nancy, you did a, or Eileen, you did a gingham blanket? Really? I have not yet seen that one from you. Your, the 29th was newest make. What was your newest make? My newest one is the corner to corner. I'm almost done with it. <clears throat> you store your yarn in cubbies. They don't last long. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh, a cable blank. I bet that's pretty. You made your grandma several things? I wish my grandmother was still around. I would make her lots of things. The 30th was Frog and Oopsie Daisy. Well, we all know I'm the queen of frogging. I frog everything at least once. So too many to say. Ooh, Nancy, I can't wait to see that. I want to see that. A Granny Ripple Shaw. Hmm. I'll have to check those pattern out for that. I want to make a new shawl. And the 31st is anything. So anything that has to do with crochet on the 31st. And that will complete National Crochet Month. Oh, yeah. COVID really messed up a lot of stuff. Frogging is how you spend most of your time? Yeah. <laughs> I think all of us do. I know I've spent tons and tons of time frogging stuff. <laughs> um, as I said, the corner to corner here, this is almost done. I've got... that much left to do. Stretched out. So, just if... probably about 30 maybe 40 more rows and it's done. Let's see, Granny Ripple is fiber spiders. Oh, okay. I love fiber, fiber spider. I love doing his tutorials because he doesn't do it with a magic circle or ring. He doesn't do it with a chain four and turn it into a circle. Thank you, Shadow Scout. This is a corner to corner done in um, Joanne's Big Twist. The color is uh, Aqua Ombre. This one's gonna go to uh, Boggy Creek Camp for kids in Florida. <laughs> I don't wear them either, but I just like making them. I sent that one um, in the sea coral. I sent that one to my mom. The date night one, I made a shawl and a scarf out of that purple looking date night yarn. So I'm sending the scarf and the shawl to my niece, Caitlin. She was just in a musical uh, play for her school and she played Anna from Frozen and my sister sent me bits and clips of the play and a bunch of pictures. And a bunch of little girls after the play was over kept running up to my niece wanting hugs and her autograph and getting their picture taken with her. So I was so proud of her. I guess she can sing really, really well. Hi, Zach. Thank you for coming in. Yes, it was so cute. I loved it. She did an interview on uh, Wood TV 8 last week. And she was on the news talking about that musical. So I thought that was really cool. Do you guys want to know what stitches I have for next week for you guys to choose from? I can tell you real quick if you guys want to know. Hopefully, Zach has a day off. He needs one. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> oh, good. Zach is off today. Um, The stitches for next week that I have picked out. And you guys get to vote on them, so it's whatever you guys... Oh, Mom wants a bowl of ice cream. You shall be right back. Bring me a bowl too, Nancy, please. <laughs> um, you guys get to pick them. I just post them, but it's whatever you guys vote on. So the two most popular ones will be the ones we do next Monday. But I have the paired double crochet, the single crochet ridges, the slip stitch ridges, the double crochet duo or the knotted double crochet. 
And I'll post those up on the community tab for you guys to vote on. But those are the five I picked. You guys like the easy one, two row repeats. Um, after these five, because these ones are all out of the beginning of the book for basic stitches. So after we do those five next week, I'm going to jump into a different section of the dictionary. I'm either going to do pit start picking from shells and fans or from clusters, popcorns, bobbles, puffs, and nups. So next week will be our last week out of the beginning of the book, which is basic stitch. I think we've all kind of got the basic stitches down pat. So after next week, the following Monday, we're going to start moving on to a little bit more challenging stitches. I think that would be fun for us to do, to kind of skip a little bit and move on to something different. I think we're all pretty familiar with the basic stitches of crochet. We've all been doing it long enough. So after these ones that I put up, after the live today, we're going to jump to a different section of the book. And did you guys all see my beautiful pen? I love Barbie. And it writes in pink. God, I wonder what kind of ice cream she's getting. Ice cream does sound good. Hello, Dawn Erin. I'm so glad you made it. I was just telling them that you and I are going to video chat and you're going to help me set up my uh, night bot. Because <laughs> he's still not working correctly. He just yells at people if they use caps and too many emojis. Otherwise, he doesn't do anything I tell him to. Yeah, see, you type love, and it just puts Nightbot loves you. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a pain, isn't it, Susie? <laughs> I most definitely will, Dawn. And Dawn is going to join me Friday morning on my live, so look forward to that, guys. Dawn Aaron Loving Hands will be with me this Friday. We are going to do it through StreamYard. So, yeah, he does need to go to boot camp, Shadow. You are right. He does. Absolutely, Don. Absolutely. He's got to be a little bit salty and sarcastic. He can't just be... Normal. He's got to be unnormal like me. I'm not normal. <laughs> yes, I love her night bot, you guys. Her night bot is such a flirt. Okay, Zach. Yes, but sassy. I like that. Absolutely. Flirty is good. Yeah, I just want him to be nice because now he's mean and he just, psh. ooh, marshino cherries, yummy, caramel, oh, man, you're killing me, Nancy. Oh, natural vanilla, chocolate, mint, oh my gosh. I'm on my way, Nancy, I'm on my way. <laughs> Yes, Eileen, Dawn's Nightbot is a lot of fun. Everybody seems to have cool Nightbots, but I don't think anyone's got one like Dawn's got. Dawn's is the most sassy, flirtiest Nightbot ever. Yes, Shadow Scout, I, I wasn't using... Uh, StreamYard until Dawn had uh, talked to me through it 
and it is a lot easier to use and I forgot to use it today of course because I don't remember but <laughs> he's trouble <laughs> Yeah, but I liked StreamYard when I joined Dawn on her live. Hello, Michelle. Thank you for stopping in. Uh, when I joined her on her live, I used the StreamYard, and it was a really easy to set up. It was really easy to use. Um, the picture and the sound were a lot better to me. So, yeah, I'm going to start using StreamYard. Yeah, I seen that, Nancy. He did ignore you, didn't he? I think he's cute. I love the little picture of the night butt, though. He is cute. So I need him to say cute, sassy, flirty little things to be as cute as he is. So what did everybody do over the weekend? I know Sally went out to dinner with her husband and had dinner. My weekend was pretty boring. I just worked on blankets and finished that diamond painting. I went to Spectrum yesterday over the phone, so that was a whole ordeal. That was no fun. Eileen, you didn't do anything either. Oh, how fun, Michelle. Eight-month-old granddaughter. Oh, babies are so fun. I miss babies. Oh, no, Michael. <laughs> Is that the one you're sending to um, Bod for the animal auction, Michael? There was two people there, Eileen, yesterday, and neither one of them would do it. Yes, babies grow fast. Oh, wow, Shadow. That sounds like a pretty busy weekend, though. Deb finished an afghan, made a square for one, and slept. Ah, sleeping's always good. Hello, Jerry. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, you got to pick the kids up from school. I did tell him, Eileen, that I can't be without a phone. I said, I need my phone. I absolutely have to have it. But it, it was in one ear, not the other. I might as well have been talking to a wall. But I got a hold of Google. Google's sending me the prepaid box to mail that one in. I'll get it to them. They'll get me a new one or fix this one. So it's, I'll be without a phone for about a week. But I have my old phone. It just doesn't have service, but I can still use the Wi-Fi on it. And I have my tablet, so I'm okay. Okay, Dawn, I understand. I know you're busy. You got busy, busy hands. That hook, that jack hook. Oh, that was so cool. I loved the ending of that little short you did for that. Yes, and I can, if I do need emergency, I can call 911 on the old phone. I should have just kept this one. I, there wasn't really anything wrong with it. It's just slow because it's a, a Samsung Galaxy and it's the A. A20, something like that. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It still works. And actually, I liked this one better than that Google Pixel Pro 7. I will never, ever, once this phone is done, I will never get another Google Pixel Pro. I will go back to my Samsung Galaxies. I've never had an iPhone just because I I don't like complicated things and I've heard they're complicated to run, but other people say they're not, that they're good phones. I've never had one. I've always used the Samsung Galaxies. But my son talked me into trying this Google Pixel, so...
That was the one thing I did like, Nancy, though, about using going through Spectrum to get a new phone. You love your Pixel, Michelle? I guess I wouldn't hate it so much if it worked correctly. I've just had problems with it for the last week or two, and it just, it's irritating. I love the way it takes pictures. It takes beautiful pictures. So, I guess if I didn't have the issues I've been having with it, I probably wouldn't mind it so much. Um, Nancy, when I went through Spectrum to get this one, the contract wasn't really that bad, and it's warrantied, and it's under insurance. I do pay extra for the insurance, but ev every year I can take it in and upgrade it for a new version or for a new phone. So I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm stuck in a contract, but I'm really not because I still get to upgrade it every year if I want. <clears throat> and it's convenient that, you know, your payment, your phone bill, your insurance, everything's all included in the bill just once a month. So, and I got mine and Mr. Cozy's phones together, both with insurance, uh, both with unlimited plans. And I pay $90 a month for both phones. And that includes the insurance and everything. So I didn't think that was really too bad for two brand new phones. And these were, they were both the two newest ones last July when I got them. You won't use... Oh, except for a Samsung... I loved my Samsung. I really did. And I should have stuck with it. But like I said, my son and daughter-in-law says, Oh, try the Google. You'll love it. You'll love it. And I did when I first got it until it started acting up. And now I'm not so happy with it. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Thank you for coming in. It's good to see you. You like Samsung phones, too? Yeah, I think a lot of people like their Samsungs. With T-Mobile, Eileen? I thought about just taking and trading my phone in and going to Verizon or T-Mobile and just getting the new Samsung that's out. Oh, and you kept George's phone, too? Yeah. Oh, that's not bad, Eileen. That's actually pretty cheap for two phones. Yes, Mary, your sun bunny came out so cute. That's one of the reasons I did it too, Michelle, is my son says, Mom, you'll love the camera on the Pixel. You'll love the... the so, I and it does. That's why I said it does. It takes beautiful pictures. Gorgeous pictures those pixels do. I still need to attempt to make a somebody, but I start doing other things and then I forget. It is on a on a list of my must makes, but I have so many must makes it'll I'll never make everything on that list before my day in this world is done. Ignore that. I must have missed something between Zach and... Hello, Ray's Blissful Connections. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Thank you, Jerry, for stopping in. You have a great rest of your day. Keep those videos coming and give those kids some treats. Nancy, when he first put that kaleidoscope blanket up, I saved every one of the videos to my must-make list. I would love to try that kaleidoscope blanket. That is gorgeous. Do 
Yes, the corner to corner kaleidoscope. Yes, that one was gorgeous. So far it is. I've been just busy. Oh, I see that. How far are you into it, Zach? Are you too far to frog and go back or you can fix it once you're done. I just wondered if you were not far enough along that you could maybe frog it and go back to it. Yeah, my day started off real busy today. I got up and started laundry, changed all the bedding, got all the dusting stuff. I dusted my whole room and vacuumed, and I got my room spick and span now. Uh-oh, Susie. You better get it. Charge did it. Nancy, that would be beautiful in teal and purple. I thought about doing it in teal and black. Oh, no, Zach. Don't do that. No, no, no. Yeah, don't do that. It can be fixed after you're done. Dawn said that, too. She could help you fix it, too. Teal and purple are your favorite colors now. It is. Once everything's done, yes, it is all great feeling knowing that my room is clean, all the bedding's washed, the last of it's in the dryer now, so <laughs> I'm so glad it's done. I should have done it Saturday, but I got too busy doing other things. Mary, I've seen that Sophie's and it is absolutely stunning. I would love to make one of those too, but I'm afraid it would take me a year to make that thing. But it is beautiful. Those Sophie's blankets are just gorgeous. I would love to make one of those. I know you can buy a book for it, the pattern. I Can you get it on Amazon? Mary, do you have to make it as big as what it says it is? I've got tons of yarn. It's $15 on Amazon. Okay. I'll have to check at that bookstore I get books at, the Alvarez bookstores. Yeah, if you don't need it as big as what it is, Mary, I'm sure you could cut the size down. And, I, I mean, if you can, try to buy one or two skeins at a time and just kind of set it aside until you might have enough yarn to make it. Um, I could go through some of my yarns and maybe send you some colors if I don't, I'm not sure what colors you're wanting to do it in. And Eileen, I seen that I'm getting closer and closer to 500. I'll get there eventually. Like I said, I'm not in any big hurry. I, I'm i not doing it to, like I said, I'm doing it just because I like to make friends and talk to you guys. And I don't think you would, Nancy. I think you can read patterns well enough to, I'm not very good at reading patterns, but I'm getting us through the stitch book. I do the same thing, Mary. I give all my stuff away. I don't 
I've kept two blankets for myself and that's it. Is there, Eileen? I've never checked to see if there was a tutorial for the Sophie's blanket. Thank you, Michelle, for the reminders. You heard there was, Eileen? I'll have to check it out. I haven't seen if there was or not yet for it. If you guys have not been to Dawn Aaron's Loving Hands too, you need to check her channel out. She dyes yarn, she spins yarn, she uh, makes buttons and clay hooks. Everything is made out of clay. Nothing is painted. It's all hand done. You give everything, almost everything away to your Deb. Yeah, I... I feel it in my heart, it just the joy it brings to give people things. And I donate to the schools every year. I love doing that. I love to help the children out. Um, I was for a while there giving blankets to the NICU. Okay, Don. So, yeah, I little baby beanies and little baby blankets, giving those to the NICU and then to the schools. Oh, awesome, Eileen. There is. Thank you for dropping the link to it, too. Oh, you're welcome, Ray. I've, I've been doing it for years. I love to donate stuff. Oh, wow, that was nice, Deb. I bet there's lots of people there you can donate to and give stuff to. There are 20 parts, and that is part one. Okay. But if they can get to the first part of it, then they can go from there. Three years ago, and you've given lots away? Yeah. I gave the... I have a little boy that lives next door to me, and... His name is Alexander. <clears throat> yes, Eileen. Um, and every Halloween and Christmas, he's out there helping decorate. And when we're out there decorating at the same time or getting fall cleanup stuff done, he's out there and he'll pop his head over the fence and he kind of flirts with me because he's really shy. And then if he notices that I see him and that I'll talk to him, he'll ask me, do you know what my favorite colors are? And I said, I sure do. I said, but hold on one second and I'll run in the house because I know his favorite colors and I'll grab him his blanket that I made for him because I make him a blanket every year and I run back outside and I'll hide it behind my back and I'll say, I have your favorite colors hid right here in my pocket. And he's looking at my pockets and I pull that blanket out from behind my back and he just gets the biggest smile. Mommy, mommy, she's got my blanket. She didn't forget. <laughs> he is such a cutie pie. Yeah, it is. It's so sweet. I, he's such a cutie pie. I just adore him. He started kindergarten this year, so can't believe how fast he grew up either. My granddaughter is going to be 10 in August. Next year is her last year in elementary school. She'll be in fifth grade, then she goes into middle school. Oh my goodness, where does time go? <laughs> my son will be 32 in December. Oh man. Him and my daughter-in-law left Arizona already. They didn't like it there. Yes, they grew up way too fast. You'll never believe where those kids took off to now. They were in Arizona maybe two weeks. They took off and went to New Mexico. Of all places, they went to New Mexico. And they went there because my daughter-in-law 
Yeah, two weeks. That was it. They stayed in Arizona and they said, I'm done. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Zach. Yeah, I have a 10-year-old a granddaughter. That's what I said, Nancy. Told them they were crazy. But um, she got a job offer down there. Zach, you don't look like you're going to be 30. No way. <clears throat> she had gotten a job offer down there to take over a um, hotel as a property manager. And... The guy told her on the phone that it was a salary-based job. There was living quarters if they wanted it. So that's why they went down there. Hello, Free Palestine. Palestine, thank you for coming in. Um, near Phoenix. They were up uh, in Williams by near Flagstaff when they were in Arizona. Um, then they went down to it's a little town called Truth or Consequences in New Mexico. But she got a job offer there to be a property manager for this hotel. And as I said, he said salary-based, um, living quarters if they needed it, a bunch of other stuff in... Um, my son was going to do the maintenance and stuff. Well, she went and checked it out, went back to told the guy that, yeah, she was interested. Well, then the same day it turned out to be, well, no, it's not salary based. No, you can't have dogs in the living quarters because they have two dogs with them. And it's $13 an hour. She's like, you got me all the way down here for that. And it's not what you told me it was going to be. So now they're going to go even farther down into New Mexico. Yeah, isn't that an interesting name? Truth or Consequences is the name of the town. Okay, Shadow. So I don't know what those kids are going to do. I think they're crazy for ever leaving. She had a great job here. They had a beautiful two-bedroom little home that was perfect for just the two of them and my son didn't like it here didn't want to be here anymore said he wanted to travel so she quit her job they packed the car up with the dogs and they left I think that was stupid of them to do appropriate for the job offer I think it would be worth it I mean it's it's for training reasons if she could train in two weeks then the guy said it would turn into a salary based job but then again they still they don't have a place to live right now so they're staying in the car and in hotels that are pet friendly yeah but now that they can't have the dogs in the living quarters with them. So I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> 30 is a midlife crisis age. Whew. I wished I was 30 again. I would love to be 30 again. I just turned 51 in January. I thought I was going to have a heart attack the day I turned 50. I was like, my life is over. I'm 50 years old. But it's not a bad age. They say 50 is the new, new what, 30 or 40. So I'm all good with it. It's just a number to me. You'll be 62 this year, Mary. My mom is going to be 70 at the end of April. April 29th, my mom will be 70. So my mom is still a baby to me. She was only 18 when she had me. 
You're 71, Eileen. So you and my mom are real close in age. Mr. Cozy's birthday's next month, too. He's going to be turning 60, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think 60. Deb, you'll be 70 in October. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> oh, I love you, Nancy. You're so funny. <laughs> Michael, you'll be 40. No way, Michael. I would have guessed you to be maybe 35. When we all got to first see you on Ivy's, when you were on Ivy's that night, last Tuesday, I would have guessed you to maybe be 35 at the oldest. Yeah, I don't deny my age either, and it doesn't bother me. Like I said, it's just a number. Wow. So I'm three years older than you, Michael. I was born in 73, January 25th. Which was a really funny story because I wasn't due until February 28th. That was my mom's due date, was February 28th. And I ended up being born January 25th. And I was 10 pounds, 12 ounces, 21 and a half inches long. I looked three months old when I was born. And my Aunt Vicky, which is my mom's sister, was pregnant at the same time as my mom. Her due date was January 25th. And my cousin Lori was born February 28th. So we swapped due dates and birthdays. I thought that was funny. And she was just this little itty bitty tiny thing. And my mom's got pictures of us laying side by side. We were a month and three days apart. And I look like a toddler next to her. I was so big. I got lots of baby stories. I was a naughty little girl when my sister was born. I had a, an imaginary friend named Pete when I was little. And I can still remember telling my mom that Pete had to have a bath. Pete needed to be tucked in. Pete needed hot dogs and macaroni and cheese on his plate because that was all I would eat when I was a kid was macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. Hello, Maritza. Thank you for stopping in. And when my mom had my middle sister, Carla, I was three years old. Pete was my world. I loved my imaginary friend, Pete. But when my sister Carla was born, Pete ran away. Pete no longer existed. She made him run away. He never came back. I was so mad at her. I used to drag her around the house by her neck as a newborn. I tried to drown her in the pool. <laughs> I was so mean to her because she made Pete run away. <laughs> but now I love her to death and I wouldn't I would be lost without my middle sister and my young my youngest sister. After she was born after my youngest sister was born, um my mom found out that she had uh uterine and cervical cancer, so she had to stay longer in the hospital to have a full hysterectomy done in my sister's dad, who my mom was married to at the time, uh, had the baby at home, so I helped take care of my youngest sister. I used to sit in her crib and just pat her little bottom and her back, and that's the only way she'd go to sleep. But, yeah, I love both my sisters. They're sweet, sweet women. My middle sister works for Delta Airlines. Plus, she has a real estate business that she runs, and she runs a property that her and her husband own in Colorado. They own cabins in Colorado. 
Yes, I have seen that movie. That movie is hilarious. Drop Dead Fred. Oh, that's sweet, Michael. Born on your grandmother's birthday. Yes, yeah, sibling issues for sure. Me and my sisters were super close, especially my youngest sister. We spent every single day together when I lived back in Michigan. But when I moved out here in 2005, I have not physically seen my sister in person, my youngest sister. But we text, uh, phone calls. My middle sister, Carla, has come out here because um, she flies for free because she works for Delta. She's a, an airline stewardess. So her and my mom come out here, and I see I see my mom about once a year. She comes out with my sister, so. But other than that, it's usually just text and phone calls. I wished I could see them more often. I would love to spend more time with them. Yes, it is. You've got to see that movie, Deb. It is. It's hilarious. Drop Dead Fred. That was a very good movie. Is it, Nancy? Oh, I'll have to get my fire stick out and plug it back in and watch it again. Yeah, and going, like I said, every day, me and my youngest sister were together. I We were... Every day from morning till night, we were together all day long. Whether it would be doing crafts, playing with the kids, going shopping, it didn't matter. We spent every day together. In May, that's my youngest sister's birthday month, May 18th. And she's going to be 42 now. I can't believe that either. I still kind of picture her as my little baby sister. <laughs> I can't wait to get this blanket done so I can share it all with you guys. I'm getting closer and closer. Then I can concentrate on that flutter stitch one. I did get a little bit farther on that one, but not much. I'm on this in the second color still, but I got a little bit farther on it. I can show you that one too. Oh, I'm sorry, Deb. That's that's not cool. I would want, I would want a relationship with them. It's, it's hard and time goes by way too fast to not spend time with family members. This is the flutter stitch one so far with the two colors and that date night yarn. And this one's a pretty long one as well. But I like it. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Ray. I love it. It's it's a new stitch that uh, Bago Day Crystal put up. And I fell in love with that stitch as soon as I seen her doing it. I was like, oh, I love that stitch. So I started that blanket right away after she put that stitch up. I still want to try her Solid Waves one. I think that one's going to be a beautiful one as well. She she very may well, Dub, as, as time moves on and people start changing and, and their age and health and all the sicknesses now in the world today. I, 
Oh, don't worry about typos. I read typo real well. Um, it, anything could happen nowadays, and it could happen just like that. And she's going to regret not spending that time and making those memories with family members. Um, for an example, Mr. Cozy right now is dealing with a family member a cousin of his that he's very close to and he kind of got dealt a no-win situation he his kidneys are failing him so they tried to do a dialysis and they put the port in well the port caused blood clot and now he's having tons of little mini strokes every day several times a day and so they told him we can keep the port in and you continue to have strokes and you'll probably die of a massive stroke or we take the port out and you might have two months because your kidneys are shutting down. So he kind of got dealt a crappy hand either way. So he's choosing to take the port out and just let his kidneys shut down. But he wants to spend that time with his girlfriend and his children and the family that's around him. And I don't blame him. I I would probably do the same thing. So. Absolutely, Deb, and that could happen. If, she, if she's already had breast cancer once, the cells are in her body and it can come back. Just as fast as they got it to go away, it can come back just like that. And it's it's terrible. It's a sad, sad thing. And I, I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody. Um... I don't know who that is, but please do not talk like that in this chat. Yeah, trolls. And that's not cool. Yeah, they need to be removed and blocked, Eileen. Absolutely. Yeah, I, you guys are all members, right? Subscribe to my channel because if so, I'm going to switch this lives over to a, you, you have to be a, into the group in order to cut. I do not like trolls like that. That was very disgusting what they said. And I apologize, you guys. Yes, definitely they need to be reported. Thank you, Eileen, for removing them. Yeah, I'm going to switch it over to if you have to be subscribed in order to get in here. That way we don't take less chance of having trolls in here. So I'm going to write that down too so I don't forget. All right. Yeah, they, they could just go and create a new account. And I'm just going to have to be a little bit more cautious. Well, I mean, I don't have any control over who subscribes to my channel, but Nancy, I am definitely going to check out the, the Granny Ripple Shaw from Fiber Spider because, like I said, I love how he does his because he doesn't do it in a chain four. He doesn't do it, you know, with the magic circle. It's just he... He chains four and starts working right into the very first 
chain stitch. So yeah, I love mindless stuff like that, Nancy. If if it's simple and mindless, I will be all over it. Thank you, Eileen. I'm I'm glad you're watching and you're on it today. I'm glad we got her as a mod. Um, I have great mods, but they they all run their own channels as well. I have Ivy, I have Eileen, I have Susie, I have Zoila, um, Adventures with Beth, and uh, Tank. So I've got great mods. They just, I know Zoila is a mod for everybody that I have ever seen on the YouTube streets. Zoila is a mod for them. So I know she's extremely busy. So yes, and I appreciate that, Eileen. You are awesome at doing what you're doing, and I appreciate it. <clears throat> yes, Zoila rocks. You're right. That woman needs a gold cape, a crown. She, and is she's fast. My gosh, that woman is fast. Someone, any person that she is a, a mod for, like the other night over at Dee's Creative Hands, it was Dee's uh, birthday, and Dee had just started saying something about, well, can a mod drop? And Zoila had it already done. I mean, she was like, bad. <laughs> I know. All right, Eileen? She's fast enough to be a robot. That woman is on it. She is so fast. Alrighty, guys. I think we'll button this up. I appreciate you guys spending the last hour and a half with me. I hope you enjoyed today's stitches. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make scarves out of both of them. Raze, would you, would you like to be a mod here as well? Thank you, Eileen. Okay, I'll do that right now then, while you're still here. Okay, you should have a blue dress on now. I appreciate it. Um, I will be back on Thursday, Thursday night, 6 p.m., you're welcome, Sally. Um, Thursday is Trivia Thursday. I've already got the list of questions for Trivia Thursday. Um, and then Friday morning, I will be back for my regular Friday Live. I may post a couple of videos up throughout the week, but that's great. I appreciate it. And I understand you work, so Monday night, who is live tonight? I'm not sure, Nancy, who is live tonight. But I, I think someone is, but I'm not sure who. If I, if I see it, I'll post it on the community tab. Um, I'll put the five new stitches up as well. Okay, Deb, thank you for letting me know. I'll put the five new stitches up on the on my community tab. You guys can vote on those. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great Don Aaron is live tonight. Okay. Thank you, Michael. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thank you for spending your time with me. Stay safe, stay cozy, and keep crocheting, my friends. Bye until next time.